She's, she's an attorney for the city of Detroit, heading up their civil rights and ethics division. And now she claims she's fallen victim to racial profiling as she was shopping in the suburbs. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is live in Gross Point, where the embarrassing situation took place. Kim, fill us in. Well, it happened yesterday here at this Talbot's, and what happened inside left this seasoned attorney who has actually prosecuted actual criminals embarrassed and shaking. Well, we responded to a request for Gross Point City under a mutual aid agreement to investigate a potential shoplifter at Talbot's. It was the last thing she expected to be accused of shoplifting. So was it racial profiling? You be the judge. Yesterday afternoon around 3.30, Portia Roberson, well known in Detroit's legal and political circles, walked into Talbot's here on Kirchival in Gross Point to return two items she purchased online. She told the clerk about the returns, but said she wanted to look around first. Roberson tried on some pants, and when she was walking out of the fitting room, there were two police officers there asking to search her bag. On her Facebook page, Roberson wrote, quote, I tell them to go ahead and search and point out the items in the receipt. He tells me it is clear that someone made a mistake and then takes my bag to the store manager to point out that everything that I have in my possession I have purchased. The officers talked to her. Uh, she was very cooperative. We were very short to, to the point. She was returning some items, had receipts, and we cleared. Portia Roberson is a former Wayne County assistant prosecutor who has worked in Washington, D.C. for the Department of Justice. And the irony that she might be the victim of racial profiling is that this year, this daughter of a now retired judge was appointed to lead Detroit's new Department of Civil Rights and Ethics. On her Facebook page, Roberson said her heartache over the embarrassing situation wasn't really about her, but that if it could happen to her, it could happen to others who might not know how to handle the situation and report it to Talbot's corporate headquarters. Action News contacted Talbot's and a spokesperson issued the following statement that in part reads, quote, we take the claims made by Ms. Roberson very seriously and we are currently investigating all aspects of the incident. We acknowledge that the police should not have been called and acknowledge that Ms. Roberson's personal belongings should not have been searched. This action was contrary to Talbot's policies and practices and was an isolated incident that does not reflect the Talbot's culture. All customers are welcome in our stores. And Portia Roberson was not available for comment today, but we understand that Talbot's CEO reached out to her directly and apologized. Reporting live in Gross Point, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, uh, thanks for that update. We will obviously keep track of that story.